Yeah, I would imagine there are quite a few operations in this park. Yeah, 747 operations to be exact. <laughs> wow. If you include multi-axis linking and stock models. How many stock models is that? Uh, 42 or so. So stock models on this part were an absolute requirement, right? Because there's so many pieces of stock that we have to track. We need to know at all times where there's material left. There's a really cool feature in stock model that really helps you kind of account for where there's material. So as you can see here, some of this is yellow, some of this is green. With stock model, you're able to color code each new stock model. Whenever I have a stock model that contains all roughing toolpaths, I make it yellow. One that's all rough finishing toolpaths, I make it green. So you can see where I have green, where I have yellow, what's done and what's not. This is the perfect application for that. Of course, in Verify, you can see if you've missed some things, but, you know, months into programming this thing, oh, did I finish that face yet or not? Well, this is your way of knowing. No, I didn't, it's still yellow. You can see here, there's some yellow inside my green. Clearly, that's not what we're going for, right? Yeah, I didn't see that on the finished part. Yeah, so kind of an interesting story with this is, you know, being a mesh model, there's all sorts of little gaps in here that are just not possible to reach. Yeah. And we didn't go through and turn all the, add fillets everywhere and make this thing manufacturable. We just programmed right off of this mesh body. So if you look at that corner, it's a nice constant fillet radius right all the way through. Basically a little bit larger than the fillet radius of my tool. There's a cool trick in Mastercam where you can actually create a fillet inside of there without modeling one. If I know, for example, that this flat end mill gets way too tight inside of that corner, I need to add a toolpath fillet. So if I look at this stock model, you can see we have that nice constant fillet radius without any interruptions. This is the end result of using toolpath fillet on my roughing tools. So if I show you on the parameters for this toolpath, under the arc filter tolerance page, there's toolpath fillet. So what this does is inserts a quarter of an inch radius, for example, into any areas where there's a sharp corner. This isn't just a planar like an arc filter sort of thing where it just creates a radius on a sharp flat corner. This is a fully 3D fillet that I didn't have to model at all. Wow. So it's super handy because in this case, you know, there, there's no possible way to model that surface between two different meshes and it'd be a really crazy thing to model. So just turning on the toolpath fillet made this really easy to actually cut that whole area. So you didn't have to make any surfaces? I didn't have to do anything. Just turn on toolpath fillet and it's done. Super simple. 